Right, section 24.1 is naming amines. They can either be alkyl amines or aryl amines. Alkyl would be, uh, an example of an alkyl amine would be H2 or Um, and when you're naming them, and they can either be primary, secondary, and tertiary. Now this is different from when you're talking about like a primary, secondary, tertiary alcohol. Because in that situation, you're talking about how it's relative to um, the carbon attached to it. Um, in this one, you're actually talking about what is on it. So a primary would be R2, um, R1, sorry, just one R and two H's. But in secondary would be two R's and one H, and tertiary would be just one nitrogen, one hydrogen on the nitrogen, zero, yeah, sorry, zero hydrogens on the nitrogen. Um, and when naming, whoopsie, so they all have different for naming. When you're naming a primary, you just add a mean to the end of the what it used to be. So we have say this one right here. That would be tert butyl, because there's four carbon. T butyl amine. And this one, we know a nickname though for this one right here. This is actually called aniline. But if you just do the cyclohexane, which doesn't have the double bond, this would be referred to as cyclohexane. An amine. Hexanil, sorry. That would be the substituent. Alrighty. Now, this was for, sorry, the primary amine. Now, if we did the secondary amine. It refers to, like if there's more than like one, if there's more than one functional group, um, so say you have a carboxylic acid, so it's carbon, H2, H2H. This would actually be called an amino substituent. And it's no long it lost the priority to the carboxylic um, acid. So it's actually, and then you have to count the carbons. So the one that has the carboxylic acid, that's always get priority, correct? So one, two, three, four. We have four. And this would be, so this the amino is actually on C2 would be two amino eutanoic acid. As we learned in chapter 21, that's when you have a carboxylic acid, the ending, you take the four. So this four for that is butane and alkane. When you have a eutanoic acid, you would get rid of the E and add the oic acid. So it's butanoic, and because the amino is on number two, you give the prior, the name of two amino butanoic acid. Now, and then a ketone, it's just the same. You look at the ending and you decide what it is. So this one would be N. So then you count again. And with the ketone, it's not the first, um, it's not where it goes, it's just the, in the order. So you get 
four amino, two but unknown, because this is a ketone, and the ketone ending is the own, and you would get rid of the E again, and then we look again, and it says four, so four amino, two butanoic acids. And that was, sorry, for the secondary, or for a di-substituted um, functional group, so two functional groups. Um, And so if you have, so say you have a secondary amine that is um, symmetrical. And that's just shorthand because organic chemists are lazy for putting in the <laughs> double bonds because it's in truth there's never in the same spot it's delocalizing all the time they're moving all the time so this one is so this is a phenyl group this is a phenyl group and so what do we do when we have two we say di so if there's two it's di so it's di phenyl amine so we just use the amine ending again. Um, just like with this one, we have oops, sorry, that doesn't happen. Because oh, it only wants three. I'm making things up now. <laughs> so this would be one, two, one, two, one, two. So these are ethyl groups. And there's three of them. Three equals tri. So it's tri ethyl amine. Alright. Now unsymmetrical secondary and tertiary, um, they're named as substituents on the N. So this is what we also learned amides do in um, um, carboxylic acid derivatives. So. CH3 group, so is this. So we would say N and dimethyl propylamine. Because this is the one that gets the priority, and this is and these are the substituents attached to it on the NN. And that concludes naming of amine. So basically you just have to remember um, what what's the substituents are on it and the difference between the primary, secondary, and tertiary and that it's not the same as um, the primary, secondary, and tertiary in terms of hybridization. Thank you.